There has been much contention regarding Minecraft modding lately, this all stemming from two major events along with some smaller ones, and some of those I haven't really seen anyone talking about. But regardless, Minecraft modding is in some trouble, and along with that there has been much discourse over whether or not it's okay to paywall mods. This is all one big modding catastrophe, and there are even some factors that people are missing here, so I'm gonna be getting into all of that and more in today's video. Before I talk about the whole mods costing money debate, I think it's really important that we talk about something that Mojang is doing right now. Mojang just recently made a change to bedrock modding that made it virtually impossible, or at least much more difficult, to mod Bedrock Edition. It was some stuff related to the PDB files, I'm not gonna get really into the technical side of it here. Bottom line is, modding for Bedrock is now much harder. And this was an active choice and change that Mojang decided to make. They specifically took the time, effort, and resources to make this change to make Bedrock modding more difficult. It's certainly possible that Microsoft was involved in this decision, but we don't really know for certain. But a fair question to ask here is why? Why would Mojang specifically take the development time to just make people's lives more difficult? Specifically targeting modders and making their lives more difficult? Well, there is one very clear answer that comes to mind. Money. Mojang is quite possibly trying to discourage people from making mods for Bedrock or outright really near preventing them from doing so, so that they will instead make add-ons in the Minecraft Marketplace. Because then when they make add-ons in the Minecraft Marketplace instead of outside mods, Mojang gets some of the money when people buy those add-ons. But that's not even the worst part here. With modding, you can do basically anything. You can make virtually any alteration to the game that you want, so long as you are passionate enough and really set your mind to it. But with marketplace add-ons, there are limitations. I'm not a marketplace content creator, I don't know exactly all of them, but I know that there are some weird and severe limitations on what you can do in marketplace add-ons. Not to mention, marketplace add-ons also tend to be a lot less vanilla-friendly than many popular mods are. Like, they typically have these giant pop-up guidebooks. It's weird. Anyway, this is very bad. Essentially, in this case, Mojang is restricting people's ability to be creative, to mod the game how they want, so that they can make money. They're trying to entice people to make add-ons on the marketplace instead of mods, even though add-ons have much more limitations on what you can do. It is putting profit over creativity, which essentially violates the core of Minecraft. So I mean it when I say this is really bad. Not to mention, now in the marketplace, over all these months, we've started to see some add-ons spring up that are basically just spiritual copies of popular Java Edition mods. I'm not gonna call out specific creators, but they know who they are. Which is like, okay, you know, it's good if you're bringing a popular Java mod to Bedrock for free, just like it is on Java Edition, but as soon as you charge money for it, you're basically just taking someone else's idea that they give out in a mod for free, and then trying to make your own little spin of it and profit. It's not really fair on many levels, especially to the original mod creator. And seemingly Mojang doesn't really care because the add-ons aren't really copying anything that's on the marketplace, they're copying something that's unofficial and outside of the bubble of the marketplace. Now, how does this pertain to the whole entire is-it-okay-to-sell-mods situation? 
Well, not to say that all marketplace content is bad. There is definitely a lot of bad stuff in there, but also there are some good things. It's just not entirely fair that they cost money when Java mods are free. But what really got this whole debate going about paywalling mods was Jet Starfish locking his mod behind a Patreon. It is now free, by the way, but this upset a lot of people having to pay money for a mod. Which is, of course, fair. Mods are supposed to be passion projects made with the incentive of improving the game, or at least adding something that you want to see added to it, not making money. Most marketplace content seems to be made just with the goal of making money. Hence why so much of it ends up being not very good. And no one really likes the Minecraft marketplace from where I've seen, at least out of all of the people I've seen in the Minecraft community. Most people seem to agree that it's bad because it kind of breaks the standard of gaming. That being that you can charge money for an official game and charge money for any official DLC for that game made by the developer, though some developers will be generous and just make free DLC, but you can't charge any money for anything that is community made. That's just sort of standard. And the very basis of the marketplace doesn't meet that standard. And neither does a mod locked behind a Patreon. And yet people seemed to just kind of get used to the unfairness of the Minecraft marketplace. And then what's interesting is that as soon as someone tried to charge money for a Java mod, people were furious. Except Jet wasn't the first person to lock their mod behind a Patreon. Other people, especially YouTubers, have been doing that for some time now. And I won't call out people or anything. But it's certainly something that is worth a pause. Should we be attacking mod creators when the future of modding itself is in danger? Maybe not so much on Java, but it definitely is on Bedrock. So what I'm kind of trying to get across here is that instead of attacking a specific or a few specific people for locking a mod behind a paywall, why don't we focus our energy and voice as a community instead towards paywalling add-ons in a massive marketplace. Of course, you know, the marketplace will stay up, but specifically, we should be fighting to have Mojang undo the changes that they made to Bedrock modding. It's not fair to lock a mod or an add-on behind a paywall, period. And one of the last things I'll bring up here is that there is a sort of extreme irony that in Minecraft's end-user license agreement, you're not allowed to try to make money off of your mods, at least for Java Edition. And then Mojang made a marketplace where people sell add-ons for money, and Mojang themselves get some of the profit from it. They're not legally breaking their law, since that is only for Java Edition, but it is morally not right. And I think that deserves some more attention than it's been getting from the community lately. A lot of people have been very distracted by the whole someone locking their mod behind a Patreon thing, and less focused on the larger problem at hand with Bedrock modding in the marketplace. And hopefully that will soon change. Thank you for watching, maybe consider subscribing. I hope to see you in the next one, and goodbye.